Hi everyone, my name is Katie and this week I am going to be talking about my study abroad experience. So I'm so excited this video is actually part of a study abroad collab. Please make sure to check out the playlist um, linked below. There you can find like all these videos from other creators on their experiences studying abroad or you know different, different study abroad topics. So make sure to go check that out, I'll, I'll link it down below. So um, if you're clicking on this video, uh, just some backstory on me. I am from Washington, D.C. I am on a gap year right now. I usually am at school in at the College of Charleston in South Carolina. Because of COVID, I decided to take the year off. Um, and it's it's been an interesting year. So I was actually supposed to be truly studying abroad in Edinburgh, Scotland this year. Um, and hopefully I'm reapplying right now to go again. So um, hopefully I'll get there next year, barring, you know, like a million things <laughs> so I mean we'll see so my freshman year I went to Iceland and it was my first study abroad experience and it was my first real experience going on a trip of that scale by myself um, I I went with a school group so obviously I wasn't like by myself because that would be like that'd be weird I barely knew anybody on the trip so it was just like it was not only like an exercise in like <laughs> overcoming my fears of just like you know traveling to this unknown place and but just not knowing anybody and just you know sort of taking a leap of faith there so yeah basically in this video i just thought that i would tell some funny stories from my trips okay so the class that i took before going to iceland with my school was um about geology which um signing up for that i was like wow this sounds really terrible like i want to go to iceland but i do not want to learn about rocks um, turns out rocks are kind of cool, like, didn't know. Um, but Iceland is built on a fault line. Not built, but like, basically, it's like in, what's, I don't know what the island, I forget the word, I, I already forgot because this was two years ago. But it's like Hawaii where volcanoes basically formed this, like, island in place. So it's a really cool, you can go and visit the, like, the literal, like, split in the tectonic plates which was just like a super weird experience to go see um but iceland ha is like home to like so many crazy like nature naturey like phenomena i would say one of the coolest things that we did was we went in a lava tube so basically that was just like a it's a basically just like a tunnel or like a cavern in the earth that you go into and there's like all these icicles in it but like lava had passed through it and then it left this sort of like cavernous cave. We also went on um, a glacier. We had to wear these like spiky boots and we like got to walk on it. And it it's so weird because you're looking at a glacier and it looks just like a mountain. But then when you get up closer to it, it's it's like all ice and it's just like, oh my God, if I, I truly can't explain it. But yeah, the coolest thing that I, that I saw going to Iceland was the Northern Lights. <laughs> Which I actually feel bad about it now. So when I saw the Northern Lights on the plane going to Iceland, so everyone else was asleep. Our plane ride was like kind of a disaster. Like someone threw up on our plane and we were, it had, we had started our travel day like eight hours beforehand. We had a layover in New York with a bunch of like half the people that I went on this trip before, like had never been out of the state, let alone like to New York, so they were like freaking out that we were like even in New York and like in the airports. So there was like lots of chaos. So when we were finally in the air, like everyone had fallen asleep and I sort of woke up and I looked out my window and I, I really couldn't tell what it was at first, but then like I, I like saw like, but I didn't wake anybody else up because I was like, oh, we're gonna see the Northern Lights like a ton when we're on the ground. We didn't, that was the only time that any of us saw it. So um, I got a picture, I'll insert it here. It's a really terrible picture. But it was like, literally the whole sky was lit up. It was so cool. But, um, the two funniest stories come from our tour guide. So she was just like so positive. So there were times when we couldn't really figure out what she was, where she was gonna go with the story. So we were driving and we're going to like this little town. And so she's telling us, or, and we're passing like a little inn on the side of the road. So I'm, I'm so sorry, like excuse my Icelandic accent. So basically our tour guide was like, oh, so he hello, do you see this, this little inn on the side of the road here? It's very cute. 
So at night they have, have little fires for everyone in the rooms and everyone came to this inn back in the day. I don't know how long ago this was, by the way. But anyway, okay, so they, they came to the little inn in, in, the, in the old days and they went to the inn and everybody loved it and everyone came to stay at the inn. But then um, people who started going there started to disappear because the owner of the inn was killing everybody who was in the inn. And we were like, what? <laughs> Like, sometimes she would just start telling a story and it would be, like, very positive, like, talking about, like, all the wonderful aspects of it. And then it was like, oh, it, no, it was like a murder place. <laughs> so I just thought that was really funny. Okay, so the, the final story that I want to tell is um, about our bus. So the last day that we were in Iceland, we were, we were driving back to Reykjavik. So we were, like, I want to say, like, three, three and a half hours away. But that particular day, there was a tourism strike. Um, because if you don't know, Iceland is a country that's like, like I, I, I am not the person to explain this. So if you, I'm, maybe I'll try and find like a real article so you can like truly read about like what's going on there. But um, a lot of their economy is based on the tourism industry. Um, because they have a lot of these big buses coming through with, with travelers and, you know, a lot of the times you need a guide to go through Iceland because it's, it's not very safe to drive on the roads. It's usually treacherous conditions. We went in March, which was like peak snow season. So like sometimes we would just be driving up a mountain and it would just be like a blizzard. Like I, like I had only seen like a handful of times in my life, um, which that was like probably one of my favorite parts of Iceland was the snow. So there's, um, they were having a tourism strike to, I guess, raise the rates of, um, of the workers, which, which is a good thing. So our bus driver and our guide were just like, Hey, like, we're just going to try to, you know, get you back to Reykjavik. Um, there are strikes going on today, but we're going to have to take a different road because otherwise we could be like, we could get in trouble with, um, unions for, for working pretty much. So we had to take these side roads like through the mountains of Iceland. And so, you know, we're, we're driving and it's like kind of hilly, but then we get to this like one hill and I wasn't really paying attention, but then I was, <laughs> and you'll know why, because we started going up this like very steep incline and you could feel the bus, like you, you were back in your seat. And then we were a little bit up the, like the road and they're up. So here, okay. So like, here's the road going, going up, right. And it drops off the road right here. So we probably got like a quarter of the way up, not far, not far at all. I'll show you, I'll insert pictures here. Um, but so we got like a little bit far up and our bus started to slide backwards <laughs> and like close to the edge which it wasn't like if our bus tipped, like we would have been fine, I think, but like our bus would have like flipped over or like at least gone on its side, like that there was enough distance. So our bus bus driver was great and he like stopped the bus from like murdering all of us. And we got off the bus and um, a tow we had to wait there for like five hours. Um, so we didn't get really get to see Reykjavik that much, which was, which was fine. Um, and we like hiked around a little bit. Like people started like sledding with their winter coats. It was just like chaos. Cannot wait to study abroad again. I just had the best time and it was only a week. And I just, I gained so much from the, from the experience. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, give it a like, um, you know, subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. And yeah, don't forget to check out the playlist of other videos. I'm really excited to getting to watch them so um, I can see who else is involved with um, this collaboration. So thank you so much and have a great day.